15th of this year, August. We had to celebrate our anniversary to the previous month before the accident happened. We was like, I'm done. My name is Faustin Lipuku. I'm 25 years old. I come from Butere, a place in Kakamega County. Yeah, at a certain village called Emasubai, if some of you are familiar that, with that place. Yeah, I come from a family of six, and I'm the second last born. There are only two boys in the family and four girls. Yeah, and yeah. I go to school at Kenyatta University. That's why I'm graduating with the bachelor's in health records and information management. So I met my late wife uh, the year 2016 when we had just a Jumili Maliza High School uh, 2015, that is at Musingo High School, Kokakamega Pier. Then I traveled to Mombasa to see my elder sister. Then while I was there, now this is how I saw her for the first time, as in that is April, Kitu, April, May, Apoivi. So I have a friend at, I have my friend Menalikuwa Neshu, Nairobi, and it was Kevin. So Kevin, he had a girlfriend, and the girlfriend, the cousin, to my late wife. So there's some time they went to TRM, Tikarodi. So he posted some picture pale, and because I was just a single guy, and I, yeah, just fresh from high school, maybe, yeah. And we are just waiting to join the campus, get to come here. So I saw that young lady was status yake. Yeah, na ni be a bro, like, yeah, because it's like a brother to me, because ni mseme to me kane, to me somane, throughout, as in primary school, live yo. So ni kama ambia, hey, udem kwa ni nani, sijei muona, suelewa. Yeah, can be a ah, we ni cousin, yeah, my girlfriend. Son come on be an kwana kwana boyfriend. I can be a Z. But then we were talking about an ambake, but we see one being in the fire nini. So you know how boys are like, yeah, to come here, yeah. So that's how we started talking with Milkas and interacting. Later, nili kusistanga katoka Mombasa, so they are going to Kisumu. So, I was organized from Mombasa to Kisumu. So, I was left at Mombasa, I everything. So, when I came, I was in the village, we went we went to the place, we went to Bahati. Then, after Bahati, I went to the place, I went to the Because Milka was working, but then, I went to the place. So, I went to the place, I went to the place, that friend of mine, Kevin, then akanipeleka kwa na milka. So the first place na kutana na ilikuwa, she was working on a movie shop, in a movie shop, flani pale wendani. So when I went there, like, you know, I was so shy, like, the time. So ilikuwa kitu around six, CV, six, I guess six, ama five up with it. So nilienda pale, nikampata. That is the first time I'm meeting her. Then kumsalimia tukatoka inje. So she was not like that easy to nelewa. So I went back and nikakuwa kumgonja for some time as in, I guess ilikuwa na malera that day, ilikuwa na Sunday. So that, that Sunday, the same same Sunday I went to hospital in town. But then we didn't meet with her. Then the following day, that is on Monday, I, I traveled to nili maliza nikachukua gari nikenda wapi. Wendani kumuona, juu nilikuwa, hadi nilikuwa asikia nimepona. So tikeenda huko, sasa kuwenzi hapo ndo tikaanza kuongea na milka. So milka likuwa na nikumbisha nga kila time. Mbe, unajua mimi nilikuwa pa stand mat, hapo ndo nikupigianga simu nikakwambia na kupenda for the first time. Yeah, so the same same date, that is first July. Until tulikuwa tume celebrate our anniversary to the previous month before the accident happened. Yeah, so that is when me and Milko officially to Lianda ku like ku date. Already me likuwa ni maanda kumpenda kwa nda kitamu, but then he ended yaka kwa free na mimi hivyo. That is first July 2016. Yeah, so to Lianda kana Milka all that time. Then 2017, 
Yeah, tulikuwa tunakaa tu vizuri until 2017 huko date 29. 29 yeah December like next this month like tarehe 29 do talisha lizaliwa. Due the birthday atalisha kwa tarehe 29 December. Yeah, we got a little baby girl and it Talisha. Yeah, I called her Talisha Trofena Ongora, the name of my mom. Yeah. But then, yeah, our life, our love life, we make too poor. She looked at her too poor. She was so loving, she was so caring, she was so outgoing, she was, she was just a whole package, Alin. Yeah, she was like, a perfect match to me until the sometimes to kwatna kana mwambia we mimi ni kama nilibahatika tuseme hivyo naona so tulikuwa tumeka all that along to me ya yeah, milka alikuwa amefanya like everything milka by the she was like alikuwa na ana back she was, alikuwa na back she had a spad alikuwa anataka hata kufanya her own shows until we had one youtube video my first youtube video and then like a YouTube channel yangu ilikuwa mimi na Milka Junior. I'm a photographer by the way and also a videographer. So this easy shoot nilikuwa nimeanza kwenda na nilikuwa nataka nimfanya kwa kama makeup artist, unaona? So my first like photo shoot nilifanya kwanza after this corona thing came tulienda na yeye. So like aka akakuwa like kama makeup artist wa client wangu. So Milka then akaenda home nikampeleka nyumbani kwetu akaka na mom home during that time but then but then I ke ka home sana ju home kwet mama angu alikuwa anga so busy so akakuja akakana sister ni mimi na fuata anaitwa Lydia so she stayed kwa my sister's place until akapele kwanga in St Mary's Mumia sikiju kama najua ya huko ndo alikuwa azalia talisha but then vile alienda huko kaka like 2 weeks mto ile ka come like come through so like kila siku namwambia anga ananiambia hey babe mimi nimechoka Sijuni nifanyi utusi hizi na muambia zi. Wee gojia tu kwanza. Sinona. Ay be, mi ni mechoka kabisa. So I traveled back home. Nika mpele kuenda fanyo ultrasound. So, nika mbebo kwa pikipika. I remember, tukendadi. Sijuni ni siaya. Siaya ama yala. Ya, yeah, yala. Tukenda kwa yala. District hospital, I guess. Aka fanyo ultrasound. Ule msaka nilika between tari 28 na tari 29. Ndo mtota atakuja. So, to Karudi home, imagine the same same date that Yalukwa Mandika and Dutalisha Kazaliwa. So, she was born when I was not around. Me, Nikwan Merudi Nairobi. Like, Nikwan at Mangatu Pijana Kwambia, eh, Faustin, congratulations. Kondam to Tom Supu, I know what Alicia's doing, Nini Kitukama. So, like, Mika Wangaloka Pijan in Kubwa, like, like, me expecting Dora Kazaluan in Kuba, just Jayonam to Tom Dogo. So, I went there, Nikon at Alicia, Mama Kiapu, I was so happy. Like it feels happy to be a father. After some two months, Milka ka travel, akakuja uku, because ange travel na mtota kwa mdogo hivyo. So my mom organized then, akakam Nairobi. So since then, tukanda kukana, talisha tu like to make out hivyo like a family. So nelewa. Tukekua tuki grow tu pole 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 tu hivyo. Now until 15th of this year, August. The day just started on well. As in Nikianda, Nikirudirudi nyuma kidogo like that August. Because to the travel home on 26th of July. That's a previous month, like to send me in three weeks nyuma kidogo, sindio? Yeah, to look at me home. We had a plan kwenda nyumbani, but then I took out me patagaria kwenda home. Say kafke usiku milka can be a be. Yani atuta enda home. I can remember bu a buja rubu ku search like gari to after two place to neza to hire gari to the home sindio. See liko siku like ni merudi ni metoka shoot ni mechoka to kwa bed. Milika kan yambe kuna pride drives ni meyona kwa Facebook. Can you at least contact those guys to wane kamu wata kupatia gari? That is what I did. Nili text to siku, waka reply as bui. We did that, then ni kenda uko sa tano. Nikachukua gari, tukafanya nini? Nikatoka Nairobi kitu saa nane, saa tisa, tunenda western. Home kwetu butere. So that's what we did, tukenda home. But then yo day tulitravel usiku. So tulikuwa mashida, tumeshukua shuka kwa barabara, jia makafiu. Sijui nini, but then munga litusaidia, tukafika home kitu saa sita usiku. Tukalala, our parents were so happy. Tukaka home, siku ngapi? Siku mbili. Tukatoka, yu tulienda ona Saturday, tukarudon Monday. 
e, tukatoka home Monday. So Milka was supposed to kubaki home. Then Milka kubaki home, akakata, akasema, ah, because that devil tuluka kwa kikao, like kuambia fadhe, eh, nikambia fadhe, musishangai mbona tumekuja home tu, tukakasi kumoja, actually tulala tu sijui two nights, so like, then tulifika hiyo, na next day, and then tukatoka hiyo Monday. So our dad was like, eh, hey, nambona mekuji hivya raka, hata mama kashanga, tujaka sana. Yeah, so like, tukuambia, ay, baba musishangi mbona tumekuja tu hivi, tulikuwa tumekuja kwa salimia tu, alafu turudi wapi, Nairobi. But then tutarudi nini next month, unawana, tutarudi home next month, because dad wanted to make a, a house for us, you, bado sikuwa nimejenga hao nyumbani sunelewa. So dad had that, those plans huko. Hadi ule tulikuwa tunarudi home, tulikuwa tunafatu nye tuangalie wapi tajengewa kitu kama hiyo. Yeah. So no way back, tukulikuwa tunapiga piga ma story. Yeah, Milka was just happy. Kumbia ki, ki bed na miss baba uko home. Yani tumetoka sahi lakina wa miss, unawana? Yeah, yani Milka was so proud yani kukua home. Like she felt like she was so loved, unelewa. So that's how it was. So tukafika haga, stivium. Same, same week we got the accident, that was on Thursday, nilipata shoot flani, I have my clients up at Lovington, when nilikuwa nafanya shoot. So nilienda huko, nikatokuko late night. So they, they gave me a car, because they are very good clients of mine. And they were supposed to go to Mombasa, but then I didn't go with them. So nikambia, ay, mnezatuni ya chagari, then mimi, I weekend nizenda kujibamba na wife kidogo ni mpeleka wapi, tuenda ata shoot, ama tuende family out. So that's what they did. They gave me a car. Wakani achoka wakani ambia the day. Taruda ama siku ntamalizana na hawa nifanyi nini? Nirudishe. That is the following week on Monday. Adi nikambia nga be. Hey be, imaji wame nipata gari ya nini kutembeze nona. So then nikafanya hivyo. It was, haikuwa kitu tumeplanu nelewa. So my be was so happy. Then wakani ambia be, wachi Saturday tufanyi nini? Tunu tuji nice na kinatalisha tufanyi hii shoot. Because it was a long time atukua tumefanya any shoot na eh. Like for the whole year. Atu kwa tumefanya any shoot. So, Saturday kafika, that Friday night, kuna samaki nilikuwa nimepewa na client wangu pia, milika kapika, that was like sapa. Akapika poa, hiyo date ulikula siju saa sita. Na same same date ulikuwa tunona game, because I'm an Arsenal fan, pia likuwa Arsenal fan, like tulikuwa tunapenda ni kuwatch game. So, to coach game, the same same night, na edit my picture. So, like, nili edit my picture, like, the whole night, nikalala kitu saa nane. Na tumekana milika talisha kakwa hapo, talisha kalalangi. Ju, until baba alala ndo talisha alala. Hata mamaka kenda kulala, lazima akenda mimi hade vile ntenda kulala. So talisha yu sika kadoze off. Si mimi kabaki milika kanembia, ay be, mi hata wacha nene nilale, we edit. But then, tutamuka kesho mapema jutu kona shoot. So nelewa. The same, the next morning, I was supposed to nileteo ma Mount Flani, nipelekea the same same client mwenye, tulukua tume shoot na milika uyo. So my, my nephew came and it was close, I can, I can let her mount her. So I can go to her, then I can rush because he is a rider. So I can rush, I can go to her mount, I can mount her, then I can go to her. So I can tell her, let me go to her, but then I can go to her, I can go to her. So no, I can go to her, I can go to her, I can go to her. I can go to her a bit of some time to prepare as ladies, I can go to her time mob. So that's what she did. I, yeah, nikaenda, nikapeleka months, nikarudu. But then that morning, something else happened. As in, milika liyamuka, nilienda kulala, nikapata melala, then, tena nikamuka mbele yake, juni liyamuka fuck with it, my picture. So milika wake, woke up, haka nipata, like, most of the time, mienda likuwa na mkanga mbele yangu, jumi, likuwa na edit na car until late night. Then, yeah. So haka nipata ni mamuka, haka nge wash room, then haka toka. Kutaka wash room, haka kuja tu kape nye niko, tu like, Like, ana mekuja pale, ana kuambia, like, ya, like, akakuja kalala, like, kwa mapaja zangu hapa, hivi juu, laptop, kwa kwa meza hapa, then, akakuja tu kwa coach. Saka niambia, ay, be, nika mwambia, ay, saisi, ni mapema, saa, so, ndi tulale kwa bedroom, like, enda tulale, nita kwa msha time, nita kwa nisha maliza. But then, she was like, zi, be, acha tunila, acha tunilala hapa, maratia muisho. So then, aka, aka lala hapo, mini kedit mapicha di kitu kama six. Kitu six thirty hivi. Ndi akatoka kaniambia, hey, nimefili po, ani nikilalanga pa nasikinga tu po, unona. 
akaenda akarudi bedroom na kalala kitu kama wanawa nje nakatoka previous previous night tena nikirudingi kwa nyumba credit za mapicha na kuna kitu ili happen like nikirudinge kwa laptop yangu kuna venye mimi nikifungua ni login kwa wifi ya apartment like hizo my news trending news vitu kama hizo so there was something ilipita kwa laptop until nikamuita alikuwa jikoni anapika so nikamwambia be imagine there's something iko imepita kwa tv like kuna msee amelipa mahari na bibi yake alikufa like two years ago so like ameenda kufanya nini kulipa mahari like akaniuliza be kwani wao huwezi sonelewa vitu kama hizo kafikia saa tano nimerudi milka wako so ready ako site so kuna nguo moja milka napenda like hiyo nguo ile kitu nimenulea milka ma outfit yani tumefanya tumefanya shoot hadi tume save do milka nimebaizi vitu zote but then kuna nguo tu moja anapenda kuna nguo nyingine ya black iko na masport until until pichini ilitumeka kwa matanga yake alikuwa ameva the same same nguo bado so like top pekenda alibadilisha tu so namuulizia be kwani nguo zote tumenua hawezi juu tunaenda shoot hautava akaniambia hazi be tuko tu sawa so miss peninge kusumbuana na yeye nikamwacha tu acha tu twende unaona so tukatoka tukaenda uh, tukaenda runda at my friend's place anaitwa anaitwa Harvey tukaenda tukaingia kwa gari my 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 caretaker alikuwa hapo chini na some of the tenants kwa nyumba tukawaambia goodbye like hivyo tu goodbye so sisi tumeenda tutarudi baadaye so sisi tukaenda all through the journey tukaenda ni milkana niambia tu kwa gari zima nyimbo za love hizi zote yeah milkana niambia tu the whole time tukafika kwa nyumba huko tukafanya shoot vizuri tukamaliza shoot tulimaliza shoot kitu saa kumi hivi saa tisa saa kumi Yeah in the house nilipata to grace the the wife to have so enda alikuwa tu kwa nyumba like tuka have a very good time akacheza na Talisha so like hata nilikuwa najaribu kumwambia utalisha shoot tukuja na yana sumbuanga sana Talisha si yule mtoto ukwenda na shoot like umwambie be fanya hivi juka kamezoea kuniita be so pia mimi nakaitanga be juka alikuwa kanasikenga milkana niita be pia kamezoea kuniita be so last let's shoot tukimalizia shoot i called my younger sister nikapatia milka simu juu milka pia alikuwa ananipiga ni ananipiga picha so the last person milka ever spoke with my family alikuwa sister yangu mdogo dorosila yeah so wakaongea na hivyo wakamaliza si tukambia grace wa waja tukimbie juja this a shoot na fani ende nifanye huko ya event fulani ya anniversary kuna mashosho fulani shosho fulani alikuwa na celebrate their 50th anniversary ya marriage. So tukarush wapi Juja from certain place uko ndani hadi tulikuwa tunapotea. So tukatoka kitu kama 7 ilikuwa 7:30. We always have some jumpers zenye zinafanana. So yale alikuwa amevaa moja mimi sikuwa nimevaa hiyo siku nilikuwa nimevaa black a black trench coat. Yeah. So Milka ka have a very good time. Talisha alikuwa amedose but then akaamka akakula pia ye. So tukatoka huko tunarudi home. Nikamwambia be It's not a must to end the bypass. Take it to her that then to PTE service line triangle pale we done then to end the home home. You give you kuna kuangana jam sana kifikia hiyo time ya kafi. So ilikuwa nataka tuingilie Daikan on service line then tatoka tu kwa relu ko juu because we used to stay up to around the railway station. So milka tukafika hapo Claywax milka kasema mm, be hapana. So that is the first time milka ananiambia kitu mimi nasikia like like amefika pale ananiambia be twende to the bypass then to road highway because i'm always driving na milka jaini ambia kitu then mimi nikafanya so nikafika pale nikakaa like one minute nikasema ni sawa but si poa wacha twende so akachukua simu yangu akaanza kuweka ngoma nikamsaidia you she wanted to record herself while singing yeah while singing talisha was already asleep that time to shadow drop while was yeah tukafika bypass akaeka ngoma ya simi it ya duduke na alikuwa anaimbia mtu yake yeah So same same time dal kwa sana record na anaimbia nani Talisha. So like tuko kwa highway tushafika kwa highway. Sinda out tunafika hizo mabumps zinakonga pale Clayworks. Sasa sindi out tuko kwa highway tunateremka sasa. Hapo tunajua tunaenda wapi? Home. Like on the way naambia Milka, what will you eat for supper? Ananiambia be for the first time Milka anasema atutakula. Acha twende tulale. Be twende tutulale. Unaona? Like be twende tutulale previously milka ndo yeye first like thursday sije ilikuwa th- yeah thursday because thursday nilika kwa hao stima ilikuwa imepotea so like ame first so tukafika um, 
sisi ndio tunapanda hiyo mlima ya pale university tunapanda every time we used to pass on that road zile kamera za the CCTV zile za barabara zikitoa flash tunasema let's fall for the picture ya government ya tupiga selfie kitu kama hiyo so that time this uh, lorry liquid natoka kuna lorry liquid natoka service lane so ilikuwa natoka service lane inaingia kwa highway so i had to slow down because i was in the first lane ya kwanza kabisa so tukati hiyo lorry kapita so ilikuwa lorry ya blue blue hivi so ikaenda because ilikuwa inapanda mlima you have to slow down so tukafanya nini because ile light ziliaka na tuko tumefika tukaboeka tukasema ah leo tutapigwa picha waja tupite so tunapita hiyo place ukipandangi na kuanga mlima so you cannot see mbele nini iko mbele unaona na tena kitu kingine iko mbele ya iko mbele ya as in hiyo lorry iko mbele na tena ni mlima so uko mbele with like ona completely nothing so hiyo lorry kafika mbele kidogo ikatuacha barabara then sisa yati situpite so the accident really happened hapo kwa just after footbridge ya KU like tuseme 80 meters hivi pale kwa footbridge ya KU so before the accident happened kitu nili, niliona mbele as in after lorry imekutokea kwa barabara niliona kitu kama gari mbele na gari you cannot know if it's moving or something is happening you can't really know because there was no hazards hakuna ile life saver there's nobody like could direct like kuna kitu na hakuna like traffic like uone like vitu zimejaa so nelewa so you cannot really know kama ni accident ama ni nini me happen yeah so um, nikaanza ku slow down kido but then si ku slow down kwa kile yangu it's like naambia be eh hey, be ni kitu inaka ni kama ni accident but then tena kama ni accident hakuna kitu ina, inaonyesha like ni accident juu gari haijashika like hakuna hazard na tazaka ziaki like the brake lights unaelewa ndio juu kitu imesimama ama kuna mtu pale hiyo thika rudisko nimepitia for like a week hivi and two weeks hivi i guess one to two weeks hivi so same same like the same same day watu wa Kenya nao walikuwa wamemwaga chippings kwa barabara like walikuwa wametama side moja like ile lane ya tatu so the result is because na pita hizi vitu zote chipping zikarudi on the first lane in tulikuwa so like zilikuwa so yani zilikuwa mingi so when i tried to the same same time na fikiria kwambia be like it's something like an accident but i'm not very sure same same time na kanyaga break the same same time maka ina swerve so like ku swerve itakuingiza kwa rails isipo kuingiza kwa rails au kuna kitu utafanya unaingia kwa gari yenye iko mbele yako so like the car was not so I kwa mbali sana na mimi like says you in meters you am not very good in measuring but then it was not so far like ni kitu naona tu hapa mbele so nelewa so my main kwa kile yangu nikakuwa na plan b ninge kwa ile na katikati kumbuka nyuma kuna gari zinakuja yeah so nikajaribu kuingia kwa ile na katikati lane 2 kuingia kwa lane 2 because kulikuwa na gari pia nao mbele pia na imepata the accident bado tu hapo na hii metuangalia juu penye sisi tunatoka. Unaona? So that's how it really happened after that I don't like me like I didn't see milk in the car like after that the impact like milkali like ile mlango iligongwa nikafunguka like ili ile ile mlango side ya milka yote ilikulwa hizi milango zote side tu ya milka tu pekee. Like from kio to hivi hizo milango zote ziligongwa like hiyo side because the car was swerving na ile gari ilikuwa na imetuangalia hivi so impact side ya milkai yani ilikuwa so bad so like mimi hadi siku realize mimi nilitoka na gari kitu kama after place tumegongwa hapo until kitu kama around kitu ite meters kwa zile ukikuwa ukikuwa pale KU keleka kahawa ile sign post juu juu za zinaonyesha places rugidurai juu ya roisambu ya so nilisimamisha gari yangu place kama hiyo ndio ni gari yangu kaingia kwa ma rails it was not stopping so nikaamua niingize gari kwa rails because now airbags zimenigonga kichwa kidole yangu hii kidole ilikuwa imejikunja like nilienda nikatengenezwa sasa hii at least iko poa kidogo so nili ya yeah. so hapo nika realize this i had people in my car but then there's nobody in the car like i'm just alone because i had somebody calling me bay 
Because Milka at the same same time she was singing for Talisha Nona, then the Akuna mtu kwa gari. So me na toka pale na staga like ni metoka kwa gari na staga staga hivi. Yeah, nafika kwa highway. Gari zinatoka huko zinanihutia tu unaona. Sasa kwa kili yangu mzee, mimi nakutana na tayari ya gari ya nyuma. Naona bag yangu imeraruka, camera and everything ziko kwa barabara. Yeah. So mimi hata siangalizo, hizo, mtu wa kwanza anaona ni milika melala katika cha barabara. I was like I'm done. Yeah, I didn't see Talisha for the first time. Like, I didn't see Talisha. But Talisha, I imagine I'm a Talisha, but I'm just worried about, like, I was not that I'm worried, but then, like, Nangalia Milka Kwapi. Yeah. So, Kufika just after Yo Gariani Milka Likwa Hapa, a few steps backwards, Penyimin Likwana talk and do Talisha Likwa. But then Talisha was asleep on the accident, so happening. So she didn't like wake up, but Alish took her then again in coma. Yeah. So mimi mtu nilikimbilia nilipita talisha mimi nikakimbilia milka. So kufikia milka like, ah. Nilianda tu kupiga nduru kwa barabara. I didn't do anything else. Like, yanu say, osha ifikiria like, unatembi unawala like ini ni ndoto, like, mazi ni ndoto, like, I was like, no, this is not happening, like, this is like a dream. This is something like in a dream like one week ago. Because people was just passing, no na. What on a pita to a patam to anapigas like an apiga picha video wanaenda. I'm there crying on the road, just my wife Amelela Hapo, Amekufa Dami na toka toka, like yeah, like Talisha Kotu Hapo, there's nobody to help like